Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I'm here at a place uh, where some odd things have happened and I see in the sky, this is an interesting cloud reading. It's not like most of my cloud readings. It looks like a, a small demon feeding on something or eating something. Can you see it? And then over this way I see something else that's a little bit um, different from the usual. I hope you can see it all right. Up above there, there's like a cloud formation going up and in the middle of it, there's like a, a contrail that is quiet and wormy, kind of contrail, kind of weaving around through that. And over here, this looks a little better. But I do see in the clouds here, right here, a vulture's head. Very unusual. So uh, I'd just like to talk about this place for a moment right now. I sent here some ancient black magic. I don't know if it's... Um, it's just momentary because of a, a way that the, the solar events are happening right now or if this section of Earth is um, has the kind of energy like that. And uh, I think it's something to, to be careful of and look out for. I will tell you something else that happened if I get out of the sunlight here in the noise. Here we have in this cloud too, which is rather large, you can see lack of form, formlessness, like chaos. That's uh, just a feeling of, of chaotic uh, lack of form. So, um, I tried to, to get off of that road I was on just now, which is near a small town, and uh, I started to go back the way I came in. It said, uh, one way, do not enter. So I figured this must be a one-way street going the other way. So, so I went that way instead. And I, I went and I went. It was alongside a freeway and on the other side was a railroad track that you couldn't get across. So the road, the frontage road, just went on and on like that, right? And uh, finally I found a place to turn across the railroad tracks. and. Um, just, I thought I would mention a couple of things that I ran to, into at a convenience store and gas station where I stopped at this town, right? The first thing that happened was um, I turned in and there was this big sign as you go in. It said something like, um, own 10 acres for a couple hundred dollars a month. And then I looked on the other side of this huge sign and it said, own 40 acres for like less than $500 a month, right? So, so I said to myself, well, I wonder where these acres are and what they're like. And then I heard on the astral plane, I, sh I heard uh, the question to ask is in town or out of town? So I said, okay, in town or out of town? And they said, very near town. And so I turned around. I'm not used to signs talking to me. So I turned around and I looked very carefully at the sign and I couldn't see anything unusual about it. So I said, where are you anyway? And, and, and whatever being it was, it said, um, oh, I'm attached to the sign. I said, well, well, where'd you come from? <laughs> and it said, um, oh, I'm with the guy that, that, that has the sign. I said, oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm walking inside, and it goes, I, and I go, are, are you in form or, or are you not in form right now? It said, I'm, I'm not in form. I said, well, what are you doing there? Because <laughs> I was just curious. And it said, um, it said, well, you know, I, I, I died, you know, I have to sell this, or these were my acres or something like that, something very unusual. And so, so there was a talking sign, <laughs> I mean an entity near a sign that I couldn't see the entity. So I went inside and I came back out and here was this gentleman. He was running after a pickup truck that was loaded down with some kind of unusual equipment. And 
and he was yelling, trying to get him to stop, or whistling, that's it. And they didn't stop. They went on out of the parking lot and, and away. So I was just standing there wondering why he had, you know, what the deal was. And then um, he sort of approached me, and it seemed from what he started to say that was that he was traveling with his wife and that he was, um, he was hoping to get some money from me. And uh, my intuition told me to just say, I was sorry, I couldn't do it. So I did, and so then I left. And so then the next thing that I saw in this small town was uh, a mural. It was a mural painted on a wall, and, and the wall was brick, red brick, and the mural was black, uh, stylized um, paintings from the, from the, from the western deserts. <laughs> And just it gave me a feeling, a certain feeling similar to these other feelings that I had had. And this is, the, this is a train. Let's see if I can get it for you. Can you see the train? Let's see. Here it is. Whoa, making a lot of noise because of that junction that I just came across. So to make sure that, that nobody gets caught there. where it's heading. So anyway, um, I had these these um, unusual experiences, sort of a feeling of foreboding, and that something odd was there, you know, not the usual. And as I, after I left, I kept hearing the couple, the man and his wife, calling after me to come back uh, for some reason. It was a bit haunting, a bit, a bit uh, odd. And then I saw the, this cloud, uh, series of clouds that I'll show you. So what I have to say about all this is, you see, I'm on my way uh, reasonably close, maybe within a, a, a day's journey, of a place on Earth where a, a lot of ley lines intersect, uh, extremely lot. And I found in the past that as I'm approaching places like this, unusual uh, energy events are sensed. For instance, uh, the last time I approached one, it, it felt that, that evening like all kinds of lines of negative energy, of uh, like my axi any axiotonal lines I had that had some like darkening in them were all activated at the same time. And uh, so it, that can be a bit overwhelming. So what I did was I just sat for a long time that night and everything cleared up and then turned into a very bright, pure, uh, vitalizing energy and so I attribute that experience to the, uh, the the fact that I was approaching an inter intersection of a lot of ley lines why that happens I don't know but I just thought I'd mention it for those that are finding themselves in such vicinities you can see a lot of ley line maps on Google Maps but you'll find that they they um, they're greatly at variance with each other massively at variance so what you have to do I feel is to just wherever you're heading if you're going on a trip check out all of the maps and see if any of them indicate intersections of ley lines and then when you get there see if that's that's what you feel you know that's if that's how you sense it ha huh. so this time as I'm approaching such a, a place the feeling that I got was like right around here probably temporarily probably just to do with my presence here it felt um, I don't know there was a feeling like a, a dark pulling in of dark strands down here 
and uh, the clouds reading supported that. And it, I will say it's a first for me. It's an unusual first. So it's something else to look out for if you're looking around for ley line intersections and vital, vitalizing energy, I think. Just look out for the surrounding, distantly surrounding area to see if you see any other sorts of anomalies that would balance that. Huh. So. <laughs> to me, this cloud reading here, which is a little more outside town, is a bit more positive. I see it as a, a willingness to move forward uh, where in Kuwait a mass of clouds uh, becomes, cl that cloud reading back there becomes more like more formed and more determined to move forward into the new. So that's this one for me. It looks like the ley line situation is changing.